Hey, Ryan Dunwoody here from PyTop. Today we're going to be talking about the new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. We're going to be talking specifically about the power consumption efficiency and what it means for mobile devices such as the PyTop. Okay, so we've set up the multimeter and the oscilloscope now. Let's have a look what's changed. Later on we're going to do a direct power consumption comparison between the Model B and the Model B Plus. But first let's take a look at the power management in the Model B. So over here we've got the micro USB port connected up to the lab power supply. This is supplying the device with 5 volts. A lot of the electronics in the Raspberry Pi requires 3.3 volts to function. And this is achieved with this linear regulator here. So as we can see, the linear regulator takes 5 volts at its input, or thereabouts, and outputs around 3.3 volts. Now the problem with this linear regulator is all of that voltage is simply wasted as heat. This is one of the main differences that the Raspberry Pi has made to the Model B Plus in that they've opted for a switch mode power converter. These achieve much higher efficiency, which means that battery powered devices will last a lot longer. So let's go and have a look at the Model B Plus. Here we have the new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. As we said before, the main difference in the power management is that the linear regulator has been swapped out for a more efficient switch mode power converter circuit, which is this integrated circuit right here. We've got 5 volts coming in and we've got 3.3 volts coming out. But the difference here is that this circuit is much more efficient than the old circuit, meaning that less power is being dissipated as heat. This means that any battery powered devices will last much longer. So let's take a more detailed look on the oscilloscope of what's actually happening in this cluster of components here. We can see what's going on in the switch mode power converter circuit by looking at the frequency of oscillation around the inductor. We've got the inductor hooked up to the oscilloscope and within the integrated circuit there is a high frequency switch. On the oscilloscope screen we can see that this period here is when the switch is on and this smaller period here is when the switch is off. The ratio between the on period divided by the total time period of the oscilloscope reading that gives us the duty cycle. If we multiply the duty cycle by 5 volts the output is 3.3 volts. So we can see here that it's 2.3 divided by 3.5 times 5 gives us 3.3 volts and that's the key to the switch mode power converter. We have the Model B Plus set up to this side of the power supply and we have the Model B set up to this side. The Model B Plus is running at 0.95 watts whereas the Model B is running at 1.7 watts. This is a power efficiency improvement of 45 percent. It's important to know that we had no peripherals set up to the Raspberry Pi as we wanted to compare the baseline power efficiencies. I hope you found this useful, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe.